What's up guys, this is Ton Ton here and welcome back to my channel. So you know that picture I posted on Instagram a while ago about a transformer Thanos? Well unfortunately I wasn't able to find Thanos anywhere but I did find something which is pretty cool which is the, some kind of fake toy called the Super Avengers Transformer which somehow is not licensed. And here we have is Iron Man in his Transformer form and this is really nice really cool here. It's, it's kind of funny though. So on the box we have Iron Man Transformation many style many choice and we have the line cool deformation compo battle and simulated plot i don't quite get that but anyway that is quite funny and we have super avengers over on the bottom here we have super avengers cool deformation vehicle with some poses and then transformation vehicle series which when i turn around you will have a bunch of other characters so here we have iron man we have uh, Captain America We have the Hawk And then we have Spider-Man Batman and Superman Which is also right here as well So I'm gonna bring in Superman And yeah, this is the two Transformer Avengers But then, why is Superman an Avengers? And even though that the box is This is Superman, but then the box art is still Iron Man And he's not an Avengers But I guess they're not gonna pay for the license anyway so yeah, it's just the same. Now let's crack this guy open and see what they got inside. So here we have Iron Man in his glory and this is the guy. I guess this is like Mark 43 or something based on this section over here and he's like super floppy. Oh. And this is just snap out. <clears throat> and on the back we have a picture of Iron Man which is like the wall paint. It's pretty nice considering the price. You got an act reactor detail here. And so this is really badly painted. You can see some dirt already here. The Iron Man. And this is the cross section cable. And for some reason, this pieces I don't know what they are meant to do. I'm gonna try to do something with them. Ah, so apparently they can be moved. Why oh, there's a ball joint here? So this is locked by a joint over here. This is really funny. So I don't know what is the purpose of this. So does it say anything? Uh, I'm gonna bring in the back the box art to see what is he doing. Ah, so never mind. I'm gonna bring in the box art of Superman. And apparently, so for Iron Man specifically, we got to move it into some kind of this. I guess there's no instruction here. So this, I, I mean, like it depends. And you got some articulation over here. That is, I guess, it's for transformation. But yeah, this is a really low quality toy, which is basically made to be a ripoff of uh, the movie and the transformer. Look at this, even like the screw here is not even properly screwed in. So it's supposed to be fully in, but but I mean that this is so awesome, you know. This is because this is so ridiculous that make it awesome. Like you're never gonna dream of a day yet you have a transforming Iron Man, but in fact I remember that in the comics I totally make a transformer buster. So yeah, I'm gonna make it official. So this guy of mine is gonna be the transformer buster for now. And about the details, you see it. There's nothing too much. It's just really floppy, and the base here is kind of dumb, and it got scratches. So I guess they call it battle damage. So that is accurate. So now let's move on to Superman to see what he got. So here we have the another the other guy. This is Clark Kent, and for some reason his panel at the arm is tighter than Iron Man, and you still got the Superman logo and the Superman line here. But is this a Spider-Man? This is the Spider-Man font, right? And you got some chrome painting as well. And about Superman, he got some other details like you got some guns over his chest section, but Iron Man doesn't have it. I mean, like, why? But it is funny though, you guys still got the red boots. They at least they tried. You got the red underwear. And I don't remember Superman having an utility belt. But you gotta look at the face scope here. The face scope here is there is really really like I said, this toy is ridiculous that make it awesome. So that is really funny though. You got the hair, the hair's an eyes, but why the eyes are painted this way? It's to look like he's a he's not 
Which is, so when this is this is definitely not Henry Cavill, but this is also not any other guys. So perhaps this is the face of a Superman on some low budget films. Yeah, that I'm gonna make it official. So this guy's a low budget Superman. <laughs> And the other details are the same except for the torso. Like for Iron Man, we have the armor, but for Superman, we got you got the abs, which looks really str strange because, like, if you think about it, this is a robot. So why is, does it have a human abs? Oh yeah. I want to think about it, but now let's get to transformation because this guy is transformer. Awesome. So for transformation, first up, flip up the feet, I guess. And clearly this is a shell former, so yeah, I'm just gonna tap this in. And from this point, this is a bunch of floppy mess. It makes me remember the bow form gladiators. That, that Megatron toy is on Joby the Hound's channel a while ago. And then, what can I do now? I, do, I really don't... Oh, I see, I see, I see. So because these two toys are the same, so I'm just gonna transform Tony Stark alone. Kabata, oh, Superman. Uh, this is so floppy, but it is awesome though. Like you know, never thought I would have, a, never thought of a day I'm gonna review this kind of toys on my channel. Like this is like not an official reveal. This is like just for fun. Oh, how, should, how can I? No, ta, ta, ta. Wait, 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 wait. I think I figured it out. So it's gonna bend up to this degree. So to tap in over here, oh, like that. Move it a little bit, and we still got Iron Man. Branding. Ah, this is okay. So like that. Oh, I get it now. I get it now. So this is gonna rotate. Two sixty. Oh, like this. Oh, oh this got to tap in over here. Try to squeeze, squeeze them in like that. I guess. I don't really. Ah, oh, here, here, here. This is like the moment when I listen to Blackpink, you know, she got a song of don't know what to do. And this is exactly that. This is really frustrating. Like, I ne never have a problem transforming a toy. I mean, like, even for third parties. I know, like, I play with third parties a lot, a lot, and some of them have problem transforming, but this is like really, really funny, yet frustrating at the same time. I guess because, like, I haven't seen this kind of knockoff for a really long time ago. Like uh, back in, when I when I was a kid, you know, I um, went around with my family and I saw them selling these kind of figures. But no, not not gonna bother buying them. And when I become a, 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 a collector, I say no, I'm not gonna bother collecting them. But then like last week, I post that Thanos picture on my Instagram, you know, and all of you guys just like, wow, let's get that guy. You wanna review him? So like, yeah. I've been trying to find that figure, the Thanos specifically, but I wasn't able to find him anywhere. But then yesterday I was having lunch and, uh, and uh, I, when I look up on the internet, I saw these figures and I thought, yeah, let's try to purchase them and see what they uh, like. And so I'm gonna squeeze in, and this is the best I can have from Iron Man. So he's a sport cars, I get it. He's a sport car transformer. And like, I cannot try, but he is Clark Kent in any way, because I think somehow Clark Kent got a better transformation sequence than Iron Man. He's like falling really nice, but look at Tony down here, he's a mess. And they're the same car, you know. They are the same cars. And they look they look nice. And you got even got this pin scratch. I could you could say that this is a details, I guess. But they are really funny. They are, they are nice they are, because they are so ridiculous that, that they are awesome and I kind of I'm this is putting me to the point where I don't know where to put them on my shelf or not but the vehicle mode is the same and for Iron Man is they still got the Superman Iron Man and Spider-Man font and for somehow uh, Tony just fit in oh, I quit you can just say wreckage you know this is what this is and I did this because you can ask for it, so I think it's gonna make it an official show from now. I'm gonna try to review this. I gotta try to find this guy and review them. But because they are so ri ridiculous, that they look awesome in my opinion. So that's it for today. So tell me what you think about this funny toys. 
I think I'm gonna call them the Avengers C crossover transformer right now. See, this is uh, like a million dollars project here, okay? So you got Hasbro collabing with Marvel and Hasbro collabing at the same time with Superman and D from DC. This is awesome. This is really nice. I love you, Clark. And yeah, I kind of like you, Tony. So yeah, tell me what you think about this video. And if you want me to do more sort of review like this, tell me in the comment section below. And also follow me on Instagram. That is where I do most of my updates. And remember, if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link is in the description below. And ta-ta now. I am Iron Man, Super Avenger, Transformer, Man, Beast, Time and Detroit, Transformation Behind Go Series, Star Strike.